these could push you off. Wow, this is... Gee, <laughs> didn't even mention this as a safety hazard. That's more safety hazards than anything I've seen so far. So there's been some pretty big safety hazard type things. Well, I'll go down, because it is kind of hard and dark to see in here. I'm assuming there's a puzzle related here. Let's learn about the constellations. That's Lepus. That's... Yep, Orion. Knew that one was coming. That's... Monikeras. That's... Canis Major. I probably pronounced pronounce all that, but that's fine. This is Gemini, or Gemini, I'm fine. Never, I always forget how it's pronounced, but I'm guessing there's a puzzle related to what we just saw. Probably somewhere... No? Both these lead you to there, so the puzzle part must be in the third walkway. The real puzzle should be how you'd help your uncle prove the safety of this contraption. Of course. Well, of course I pronounced Orion right. My name is Ryan, and Orion is O-Ryan. Gemini, thank you very much. That looks like the puzzle. That's a locked door. <clears throat> looks like a series of puzzles, actually. 175. Oh. Well, I'll get back to that. We will indeed get back to that. Let me first go over here. Also, a note here. Orion. Or Orion. I was an Orion. Fucking A. Orion is the key. January 4th, 1909. Dear Rupert, I have acquired the explosives you asked for them from Bella. As expected, she is reluctant at first. Well, generally asking for explosives, unless because you're talking like an explosives dealer, is usually pretty, um, uh, reluctant. At first, she, but she yielded once I explained her purpose. She expresses an interest in joining us, and I told her that she could. I hope you don't mind, but I feel it was the only way to convince her to help. I've left the explosives with one of our servants who was instructed to place them in the storage cupboard in anticipation for tomorrow's expedition. I brought a few spare sticks should we encounter other obstacles once inside. Best wishes, John. Is it as complicated as 175? No, I. Th okay. It's a bit trickier than that. Oh, Ryan. Let's go do this. Oh, Ryan's the key. I'm looking at... Oh, 075. The number changed. We were close. Ta-da! It's another key. It's the basement key, to be honest. Oh. Actually, I have no idea where that goes. But I'm sure maybe they'll let us go all the way down now. Well, let's make an assumption that we can go down now. Yeah, we can. I'm very curious to see what might happen if I jumped yeah, with the ability to. Part of me thinks I shouldn't. I'm not gonna do it. I actually since it didn't give me a save thing whatsoever. Would actually like to live, so now we can go down. It just magically works once we picked up the key. Sure. To the basement. I'm sure this couldn't be spoopy whatsoever. Hi. Highlight. That door will open. This door open. Both doors will actually open. But the real question is, will both doors actually lead in? That light really likes flickering every walk by, doesn't it? 
I think it's trained to do that. Well, let's investigate. You could open that. There we go, my amazing hanging box experiment. I too love crawling through vents, it's why I do as such. I don't hear any breathing, so... We opened up that door earlier, so... Really, we just got a little sneak area. Exciting. Also, right now, flashlight battery. Probably because I haven't picked up any batteries in a long time. Oh, speak of the devil. I like how the whole sound effects here are echoing, even if it's a little bit exaggerated. Let's go through here. I'll go obviously the way they want me to go. Speaking of monster. Well, at least we confirm the monster can in fact crawl over here. Try and keep my eyes on it from distance. The monster's got a very simple pattern. If it spots me here, then I just have to run away. Or get, get killed and then run away. Be careful to breathe this way. Just gotta be gentle. I don't know where it went. There's a door there. I'm gonna sneak up to it. Try and save my battery right now. Open sesame. Close the door. I almost walked straight off of that. Hmm. Sure, I'll go down. Really can't see very well here without your flashlight. You can kind of see certain things, but is that a note? No, that was not a note. Until I know what I'm dealing with. There's another note here. Professor Walker's diary. <clears throat> January 5th, 1909. We've just returned from our expedition. The passage behind the wall is far vaster than first expected. The seemingly small tunnel that we uncovered led to an expansive series of caverns beneath the museum. 
Much to my dismay, we are unable to progress further tonight. The tunnel leads to a straight drop into the caverns. While a large pool of water at the bottom means it would be possible to get down unharmed, the way back out is a different story. John and Bella have returned to their homes for the night. We'll continue our expedition tomorrow once we have the necessary supplies. Part of me wants to continue right now, to drop into the, those caverns and be the first to see the secrets that await us. You're not insane, what are you talking about? Off with you. I'm gonna be sure I'm gonna probably be grateful for more flashlight battery later. Oh. Well, there's way back somewhere in the switch. I'll press the switch. Or I would if I could. It's actually not what I'm supposed to be doing. Surprisingly enough. I'm gonna check one more time. It seems mighty conspicuous, but you no, know, you really can't drive with the switch. Checkpoint now every few seconds. <laughs> Fucking lights and oh, whoa. The fuck. just happened? Was I killed? Whatever just happened before this was really bizarre. You actually cannot climb up here. Well, that happened. Whatever really just happened. I really don't know what that was on the boat, but yeah. There's the way out. Now the crawling continues. It's about a lot of slightly better lit area though. At least right here in this corner it is. Or this corner is what we're looking for. Hello explosives. I got a couple batteries. Be careful when transporting the dynamite. This stuff is particularly sensitive. Even the impact from dropping it could set it off. Just to be safe, we could keep a fair distance from the one carrying it. I wouldn't like to be near them in the event of an unintentional detonation. That leads to the question who's going to carry it. Well, I just also have like three batteries right here. Pick up one for the road. Remember, kids, who dropped the dynamite? Uh, okay, so we were looking for dynamite. Got it. Has to be somewhere in here because, you know, we. Oh, you can actually. You could cross over there. I didn't notice this. You can totally cross over here. You can even get back. That's the bigger surprise. Up here is blocked by boxes. So that's obviously not what we're looking for. <clears throat> the man in guns, the man in yeah, I like that song too. Everyone does.
on saying dynamite here. Well, the dark corridors commence. Those are pipes. Probably going to be in the farthest way back. Bright side is I've been walking intentionally carefully for most of this game anyway. I've played my fair share of first person horror stealthish type games, so yeah. I... And explosives is kind of straight from Resident Evil 1 when at the very end of the game we are carrying the explosive stuff and can't do much with it. Keeping an eye on both ways. That's actually a stairway. I was gonna say I'm keeping my eyes on both ways to see if there were any doors. There's probably not really a monster here. Yeah, there's not a monster in here. But there could be a monster in the next room. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Or the dynamite. I think we're gonna throw a monster on the way back. Picked up dynamite. I remember kids be especially careful. It's fine. This is fine. I'll just wander through the dark because I'm fine. I do like the flickering lights and their sounds in this area, though. Throwing that out there for a random thought of the day. You think if I like started running the moment I started running, like explode? That's how it works in some games with explosives. What I'm worried about is I have to I do have to jump to get back. That is a fact. There will be jumping involved before I get back to where I need to go. Is jumping fine? Is running fine? I don't know. I'll have to figure out whatever it is that we need to do when it comes to time for us to do that. Up and down the stairs. <laughs> Wait, that was the dead end. I remember now. The oh look, boxes up on top of those stairs. There should be a door to my left here. There it was. Being so many boxes in here. Oh, hey. Is there always a way, way to crouch there? Well, whatever. We made it a okay. The last touch is going to be to drop the dynamite over here. Gotta be careful. We can even see where we need to drop off the dynamite. Hey, Uncle, here are my... He burst through the... Oh, dear. I'm guessing when I drop that, I'm going to become... It's going to be an explosive hazard. I need to walk away. So I'm going to grab one more battery. Just to be on the safe side. I know I didn't light the dynamite or anything, but in case it was going to explode immediately, which I'm going to assume if it hasn't done in the last few moments, it probably isn't going to. Well, do I light the dynamite? supposed to do with it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Take me a second. <clears throat> Let's go into the depths of the caves, of which we must crouch. There's actually light over here, so I can drop my flashlight for a little bit. Oh, that leads to the next main area. The way behind the walls. Which, then I drop into a hole. 
Thankfully, there's sulfuric acid or something down here, which is making it definitely more visible to see, as well as lit up mushrooms. It's all part of the fun. They even made a fire here, which would actually mean that someone's been here recently. Uncle! Also, for some reason, my character is continuously walking to the right. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Why is my character walking on his own? Makes walking in directions, not to his left, behind him. A lot more difficult than it should be. Is the controller plugged in? Oh, oh yes, it was the controller plugged in. Oh, no, 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 I know it wasn't. I tried. I put the controller back in there. Maybe it's just the effects of falling down the long way. I'm just going to have to live with it. Nice cave you got here, though. Like a nice little cave home here. With glowing mushrooms. Probably need more than one fire. Let's sort of zigzag my way here. I think the fog is sulfuric acid. And this looks more like a dungeon. Ah, here I am. I'm having difficulty walking right now, but I'm fine. Seems like my brain must have been hit on the way down. I now can just continuously walk to uh, behind me to the left. Let's go forward. Of course the monster's here, and of course I can have difficulty walking. Can't stand still with this beast. Right side, since it's not completely dark, I should be able to tell where he is. Or maybe that was just a scene viewing him, because he couldn't have gone that far that quickly, really. I don't think he could. Oh, never mind. Yes, he can. He can do whatever the fuck he wants, apparently. Now I'll stand completely still. And by completely still, I mean I'm going to the bottom left area. Oh, the monster's right there. Sneak past the beast. To go at full crouching speed, I need to walk over there. It's actually something you're in here. Don't know what that's about. All I know is I'm sneaking. Let's get out. Buh -buh. Buh -buh. Let's walk over here. There's different symbols around here. That's a bright side. Well, let's go to the light this way. Hello, light! Fires usually means a safe little place. Apparently monsters don't like fire. That's just what I've heard from a little someone or something. We could actually maybe crouch over there, but maybe not, so I'm gonna be wary and go over this way instead. Oh, the... Ooh, I see. It's gonna be really hard for me to do. I'm doing it. Oh, man, there's rocks like that in there. Ah. The monster doesn't knock off the rock. I'm not sure if this is an intentional gameplay design decision, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I'd like shifts so fast. Nope, still not fixed. Ugh. Crouching best as I can. Left, right. Don't say a monster in here. I think I'm fine. Go up here and try not to fall off. Harder than it sounds when your character is trying to move on his own. Which is on either side, actually. What does this note say? Bellis Journal. January 6, 1909. My mind is playing tricks on me. Over the last day, we've been down in this dark pit. I've been seeing things that weren't there. Doorways where there are none. Strange shadow apparitions. I've even seen John at the end of a narrow corridor, knowing full well that he was in front of me as we made our way deeper into the ca our caverns. This darkness is suffocating. The cold confires of these stone corridors are not what I expected of this adventure. I'm very much regretting my decision to come along. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Would you think that going down to an underground cavern was going to be pleasant? Oh, I think I see what I need to do. Let's 
so difficult. God, I'm not. The reason I'm having so much difficulty is because my character is trying to move to the bottom left. Jumping's the worst because of it. Uh, unless, of course, I jump with it in mind. Yeah, on top. Uh, there's another box up there. Take the long way around because I'm having a little bit of wary. Uh, that. Duh. Okay. Move this into place. Down top. Good enough. Uh, 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 God dang it. It's been much easier. Okay. I guess it's a little bit slower when I'm crouching, so let's do it while I'm crouching. Let's... Okay, that works too. Doesn't really matter which one of you boxes are on top. They're both pretty. Let me just. Move the crate higher up. I guess I can have a third crate to make this a little easier. This would be so much easier. If I, I'm not even sure if this is a glitch or an intentional gameplay design element. stable. Going back up there, though. Now, as long as I can stand on that, I really don't care. <sighs> If it only wasn't pushing me to the bottom left. Can I try and push right here? There we go, made it. Finally. I'm hoping that this goes away when I load the next area, which hopefully is sooner rather than later. You can go down. There's a monster down there. Oh, we need a cogwheel or something. No worries, I can provide that. This monster down here ain't gonna mine none. He just circles around this thing all day. What a dull life. make breathing sounds. Oh, I just have to pick it up. Bring it back. If he circles around like I think he does, then I should follow him this way. Look at him clip to that good old mushroom. Well, it's fine. I'm not going to judge his clipping habits. Move further up this wall to be further from his sensing range. Go over here. Goodbye. Now to assume the walkway is as simple as the upway. Let's see. And there we go. Magic. Put this onto the thingy over there, and then magic happens. It shows exactly how it works, you don't even question. Ta da! Turn to the left. To the left, to the left. Peekaboo. I was really hoping for a new loadable area. Oh! I think I got my wish. I'll go down. Women like this. This is great. There's a place to get air. See, we're fine. There's a few areas to stick out here. I'll start out over here. And what's your chamber? Looks like a crypt. You know where they keep tombs? I actually, the other side of this area. Cool. 
There's an area that I can either jump over or crouch up and I try to crouch into the root. Looks nice down there. The mushrooms really are on full bloom this time of year. I guess the reason why there's so many boxes lying around is a coincidence. Well, it's a goddamn puzzle! What else would I have expected, really? You know how hard this is going to be to interact with this panel with the issue I'm having? The answer is relatively difficult. The creature defies description is being seemingly composed of, by the void of the void itself. While we know nothing of its origins, its methods have been made clear. Corruption, insanity, and illusion are its weapons, and it welds them masterfully. The creature is not something that can be fought. Perhaps, though, there is still hope. The high priest believes that we can forge a prison. The high priest? You brought a high priest with you? Okay, that wasn't mentioned previously, but sure. A large crystal, the remnants of the creature's original bindings, can be manipulated to once again ensnare the beast and prevent its corruption from spreading further through our world. This actually might be written by someone else, come to think of it. Now then... In our arrogance, no, this is definitely them. We have unleashed, this is them. We have unleashed this evil. We thought ourselves the best, the most advanced of the sentient beings, but now our mistake may cause the destruction of all civilizations as we look down upon. That's all fine and dandy. What am I gonna get through here? Like a window opening? Invisible wall there. Oh. I see what they want me to do. I'm almost not sure if this is still intentional or not. The difficulty I'm having, to put it lightly. Because these things would be so easy if it wasn't having this issue. It makes me almost think that maybe it's supposed to be like this, that makes it more challenging. Boxes would be a bit more sturdy in this game. This would also be far easier. Or whatever. Is that really not the answer? Be the answer. It's not this. Also, I just realized I almost ran out of flashlight battery because I had my flashlight on. Oh, right, the flashlight does slowly recharge over time. That's good to know. Because it just did it in front of my eyes. Wait. Wait. It's gone! My magic moving to the bottom left just disappeared. I don't know why it just right then decided to disappear, but it did. Oh wait, I see what we need to do. Not like that, but close. Really? Not that. I thought I was being creative. Oh, okay. I Get now. Ta -da! And I've solved the problem of me moving, so I'm somehow, so I'm happy. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel, and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and 
until next time, adieu.